Hey guys, so many good soul lights have a very active iHerb account because there are some things that you can get there from overseas that are much cheaper, mainly supplements, vitamins, and then also uh, processed food goods. But processed meaning like more on the health food angle. So I'm going to show you one part of my order. Usually you split it up because you're limited to six bottles of vitamins or anything that is labeled as a vitamin. So for example, these Atkins bar bars are considered vitamins. So you can only import six of them at a time in one shipment. So this one is the chocolate hazelnut bar. It's one of my favorite things to eat for breakfast with some coffee. So basically I'll uh, consider it like almost like a fasting meal where I don't really eat that much. I try to keep the calorie count under 400. And these are 180 calories per bar. So it's not like a nothing bar. You, you'll still have some energy. So if you drink it with a latte, it definitely gets up to 400. Um, Oh, I didn't remember I bought this. This is coconut sugar. And so, why did I want to? Ah, because when I make uh, some of my baked goods and cookies, I want to, I definitely use gluten-free flour. So I save there on terms of the kind of impact on the body. And so I wanted to increase that level of health with some coconut sugar. I heard it's a little bit better in terms of the nutrients in the glycemic index. So yes, this 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 purchase was a lot of these Atkins bars. This one is also good. This tastes like a payday. Have you ever had like one of those uh, peanut caramel nut rolls with I think the nougat in the in the middle? This one has 140 calories each. And uh, the thing with Atkins, the reason why they are satisfying is that the the fat content tends to be high. So if you're on like paleo, this is pretty good. And this one also I like, it's it's called the Dark al dark Chocolate Almond Coconut Crunch. It has that uh, bit of the coconut flavor, but it's very similar to this hazelnut one. So if you like coconut, this is good. And then this is just a, I think almost would please any palate. Vitamins, what is this? Beta Cytosterol Plant Sterols for cardiovascular health. Uh, there was this thing that I found on my email from a long time ago. I saved it. This was a few years ago when uh, somebody in the uh, tech community in Silicon Valley uh, went to a costume party, but his costume apparently did not have much clothing. So everybody was amazed at his six pack. And I think people were uh, asking him constantly like, what do you do? And so he made a huge public list of uh, his exercise routine, his eating regimen, and then his supplements. And so this was on it. This is for heart health, but I guess he basically said that this, you know, a healthy body is part of the whole looking good. This also is for heart health, pantothene. And so this is a form of vitamin B5. And so it also helps with the formation of coenzyme A. So you can take the coenzyme A in its uh, finished form, but this is basically the precursor to coenzyme A being made in your body, so it helps create it naturally. And this is not something that I should be eating, but yes, peanut butter. But this is the uh, natural creamy peanut butter, but usually you have to stir it. This one is a no stir. And I would say almost once a year, I get this peanut butter craving. It usually happens in May, but in the past two years, I haven't really been getting them. So maybe I'm getting whatever nutrients are in peanuts. But um, I really wanted to have peanut butter on hand. I didn't really have a craving for it, but I just want to be able to have it on hand and not get like the processed stuff that's twice the price here. So that's the haul. The first part, I'll upload the second part after I get the box from downstairs.